a prominent liberal Republican who happens to be running for president in 2024, is insistent that the Joe Biden, Hunter Biden corruption investigation is not going to make one little bit of a difference come November. Well, look, uh, Hunter Biden's not on the ballot. And I, you, you know that I predicted weeks before the Hunter Biden plea was rejected that it would be rejected um, because it was a completely one-sided plea deal in favor of Hunter Biden. Um, now he's going to face the same type of trial um, that uh, Donald Trump's going to face. And, and here's the interesting part. Um, you know, some of those voters who say that say the Hunter Biden thing matters, but Donald Trump's doesn't. Um, that's just wishful thinking. The fact is that the two people who would be on the ballot if we nominated Donald Trump will be Donald Trump and Joe Biden, not Hunter Biden. Uh, and the fact is, it's the conduct of the people um, who are running for office that's going to matter the most. We may find out more about President Biden in the months to come. There it is. You see, he hints at the complete undercutting of his argument right there at the end. Because what he says is, look, this is this match is going to be about Trump and Biden. If Trump is the nominee, it's going to be Trump versus Biden. And no one's going to care about Hunter Biden because Hunter Biden's not on the ballot. Sure, but the probe into Hunter Biden is also not about Hunter Biden. That's why we're not really all that concerned about his sex crimes. That's why we're really not all that concerned about his drug crimes. They're good tabloid material, but that's not really what Republicans are focused on. We're focused on the po political corruption. We're focused on the payments from Ukraine. We're focused on the payments from China. We're focused on the payments from other powers around the world that were paying Hunter Biden because Hunter was selling his father's influence as the vice president. We're interested in that Hunter Biden corruption because it implicates Joe. We don't even need to guess at this. We've got, we've got the whole hard drive full of text messages and emails connecting Joe to these crimes. We've got a handwritten letter from Joe Biden to Hunter Biden's business partner, Devin Archer, a handwritten letter that proves that Joe Biden invited Devin Archer to a, a meeting with Xi Jinping, the president of China, or uh, it may have been the previous president of China at the time, because this, this goes back now like a decade. The we, We've got Evidence after evidence after evidence. And now we've got Victor Shokin, who is the prosecutor that Joe Biden forced the Ukrainians to fire. Victor Shokin coming out and saying Joe Biden was being bribed by Ukraine. I have no doubt that there were illegal activities engaged in by uh, Burisma. As a matter of fact, the criminal case had been started before me. It continued to expand. And Zlochevsky, who at the time held the post of minister and was the founder and CEO of uh, Burisma, started bringing in people who could provide protection for him. Hunter Biden was uh, among them. And the corruption network expanded as a result. So, yes, to answer your question, there, uh, there's no doubt in my mind that Burisma was engaged in illegal activities. Had I continued to oversee the Burisma investigation, we would have found the facts about the corrupt activities that they were engaging in that included both Hunter Biden and Devin Archer and others. I do not want to deal in unproven facts, but my firm personal conviction is that yes, this was the case. They were being bribed. The fact that Joe Biden gave away $1 billion in uh, U.S. Uh, money in exchange for my dismissal, my firing. Isn't that alone a case of corruption? Obviously it is. And the clip that he's referring to there, Victor Shokin, is when Joe Biden publicly, semi-publicly, because it was at a private event of the Council on Foreign Relations, but there was a little camera in the back, and that's how this clip has gone viral. Joe Biden bragged about paying the Ukrainians a billion dollars to fire the guy who was investigating the company that was bribing him and his son, at least his son. And according to the text messages and emails that we've seen, would seem to suggest some of that money, a lot of that money was going to Joe. I remember going over convincing our team, our <coughs> others to convincing us that we should be providing for loan guarantees. And I went over, I guess the 12th, 13th time to Kiev and, uh, and I was going, supposed to announce that there was another billion dollar loan guarantee. And I had gotten a commitment from Poroshenko and from 
uh, Yatsenyuk that they would take action against the state prosecutor, and they didn't. So they said they had. They were walking out to press conference. Said, "Nah." I said, "I'm not going to. Or, or we're not going to give you the billion dollars." They said, "You have no authority. You're not the president." The president said, "I said, call him." <laughs> I said, "I'm telling you, you're not getting the billion dollars." I said, "You're not getting the billion. I'm going to be leaving here." And I think it was what six hours. I looked. I said, "I'm leaving in six hours. If the prosecutor's not fired, you're not getting the money." Well, son of a bitch, <laughs> got fired, and they put in place someone who was solid. Someone who was solidly going to stop looking into the company that was paying my family a ton of money in bribes. Right now, go to cinch.com, use code Knowles. Picture the perfect summer night. A warm breeze on your face as you lounge in your favorite chair outside. The grill is sizzling with juicy burgers and the aroma of the food is irresistible. Boy, could you imagine? Now, imagine what this perfect summer night would look like if you went to turn on the grill and your propane tank were empty. That's where our friends at Cinch come in. Cinch is a propane grill tank home delivery service. They deliver propane grill tanks right to your door on your schedule, and they require no long-term commitment or subscription. Plus, delivery is completely contactless. You do not have to wait around at home. Track the order on the Cinch app from anywhere. Whether you're grilling steaks or lighting up the patio heaters on a cold night, Cinch's propane delivery service ensures that you have the fuel you need to make the most of every moment. Go online to cinch.com or download the Cinch app to order. New customers can get their first tank exchange for just 10 bucks with promo code Knowles. Go to cinch.com or download the Cinch app. Use promo code Knowles, K-N-W-L-E-S, to get your first tank exchange for just $10. This is a limited time offer. You must live within a Cinch service area to redeem it. Visit cinch.com slash offer for details. What more proof do we need? We talk a lot about political corruption because, one, we like to attack our political opponents, but two, we just live in a particularly corrupt time. And so we, we take these accusations with a grain of salt. In the case of Joe Biden, there is no more proof that we could possibly have. Unless we saw a public Venmo payment from Ukraine to Joe Biden that said, for all of the corruption— There is no more proof that we could possibly have. We've got Hunter Biden talking about how the big guy gets 10%. We got Hunter Biden texting his family saying that unlike his father, he's never going to make them give give to him half his salary, half of their salary. We've got the, the financial documents showing all of these payments from foreign powers to the shell company set up by Hunter Biden and Devin Archer. We've got the letters connecting Joe Biden to Devin Archer and obviously to Hunter Biden. We now know, thanks to the House Republicans, that Joe Biden was conducting business while vice president under a pseudonym, Robert Ware and Robert L. I forget the last, Peters, Robert L. Peters, several pseudonyms that, that he was conducting, not just little pleasantry kind of business, but was setting up phone calls with the president of Ukraine. Just obvious rank corruption. And yet no one's gonna touch this guy. Meanwhile, Donald Trump, what? As president called the secretary of state of Georgia to inquire about the obvious voter fraud that had gone on, and they throw him in the can for that. And they take a mugshot, first mugshot of a U.S. president in American history. It's, we are so obviously beyond the point of uh, law and order, of a, of a serious justice system, that uh, look, in a way, I have a grudging kind of admiration for the, for the game that Joe Biden is playing. That guy is just a hustler through and through, a total gangster, okay? He's, he's not even really trying to hide it all that hard. The, the people that drive me the craziest right now, though, are the squishes. The ones who are trying to deal with in these issues as though they were serious matters for abstract legal reasoning. Well, you know, listen, I'm opposed to arresting the leader of the opposition. I'm not saying it's a good thing that we're arresting former presidents, but did Donald Trump, on when he was on the phone, did he call between three o'clock and four o'clock, or did he call between five o'clock and six o'clock? Did what was the exact nature of the statement that give me a break, man? They would throw this guy in prison for jaywalking. They would throw this guy in prison for not jaywalking. <laughs> they, they he could he could walk across the crosswalk with the walk light on, and they would 
they would change the video footage and say that it was a stop sign, okay? It, we are so, pa meanwhile, Joe Biden is, is sending his son around to shake down every foreign leader on planet earth and say, my dad's gonna give you in American influence. And everybody looks the other way and they get crooked plea deals and they get diversion programs and they get nothing, nary even a slap on the wrist. I'm, I'm not saying this to point out the hypocrisy. Nor, normal people, people with two brain cells to rub together, see the hypocrisy. I'm, 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 I'm really mentioning this just to shake the squishes out of their stupor. We are not living in a time of ordinary law and order, and people should recognize that when it comes to the persecutions of conservatives, up to and including Donald Trump, but including hundreds and hundreds, at least, more conservatives than that. Boy, what a great clip that was, huh? Now, make sure you ring that bell, subscribe to the Michael Knowles YouTube channel. We'll see you next time.